I would like to make a disclaimer that the following video is my presentation for a class at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences and represents a hypothetical scenario. The following presentation therefore does not necessarily reflect the views of the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences or any other agent. Hi, my name is Johanna Ogom. In this presentation, I will discuss peer review case study by Dana Watt about key components in planning, implementing, and monitoring a behavior change communication campaign that increased condom use among male clients of sex workers in southern India. I hope you will learn from this presentation. Uh, this is the outline of the presentation. Uh, the overview is starting with uh, community-based participatory research, which is the major emphasis of this presentation. Uh, the community best participatory research principles that are there to the condom use promotion program. And then there's community best participatory research principles that do not adhere to the condom use program. Then second to list last are the community and who defines who belongs to a community. And then finally, community in the condom use pro program promotion. The community-based participatory research principles that are there to the condom use promotion program are just there, but a few. I, I will try to list a few of them uh, that are there to the uh, program case study. Uh, briefly, uh, the CBPR, in short, is an approach that's fully centered on the community. It also focuses on populations rather than individuals. And therefore, uh, the focus is the population so the entry point is the population and uh, therefore the outcome or the goal of the program uh, or the intervention is uh, population oriented therefore it's not basically on the individual level uh, this is the particular criteria of this uh, participatory research in the community-based uh, forum so in the first case uh, the program recognizes the community. It also considers common characteristics among clients. In, in other words, communality. The program, first of all, uh, is based on uh, changing behavior pattern among sex workers in uh, southern India. Uh, this place has high prevalence of HIV AIDS pandemic. And therefore, compared to other areas of India, the target population of this program is particularly sex workers and also their clients, whether they're heterosexual or uh, same-sex workers, sex, sex, sex workers. Therefore, the program considers specific characteristics of these groups uh, as related to uh, sexual relations and the area where they live, particularly areas which are which are within families or individuals who live and interact with these sex workers because some of the sex workers are actually couples or maybe partners who are affiliated to particular families and therefore it's a whole network of community setup and then the program also sets or builds on the community assessments and the program considered community needs and problems but also strengths and resources First of all, the program acknowledges the fact that individuals belong to a group and a community in this particular setup, and individuals are more likely to follow the community rules and community understanding about certain aspect about behavior change, for example, condom. Uh, so co use of condom is a new new idea in the, within this community group, and therefore most individuals are usually prone to accept or follow what the community tells them or beliefs of the community. And therefore, the program acknowledges that it's very difficult to change individual behavior without first changing community or mindset about condom use. Therefore, even though it's a disadvantageous of one side, in the other hand, it's also advantageous. Because if the program considers to change behavior within the individual level, it might be difficult for them. But if they try to change behavior from the community level, changing the community at large 
in forms of groups who are uh, interconnected. They can be able to, in, re in return, change uh, the behavior patterns within individuals in that groups. And then, and then lastly, the program recognizes inequalities and differences. The program particularly considers uh, certain vulnerable population like female sex workers as very uh, unequal to other groups. For example, female sex workers do not uh, have the capability to, uh, to follow a behavior change pattern even if they wish to do so because in certain cases during sexual encounters they cannot decide whether or not they will use uh, protection or condoms. On this slide I will discuss principles in CBPR that do not adhere to the condom use program uh, campaign. The program as I will describe in this presentation, does not fit all the tenets of the CPPR principles. In my view, the program do not involve a cyclical and interactive process. The program does not develop mechanisms for sustainability to reinforce the partnership. So therefore, there is no clear sustainability to this intervention program, even though the intervention is successful. But we are not very quite sure whether there is a sustainability of this program even into the future because uh, if the program uh, the program does not really uh, exchange or hand over the intervention uh, the intervention uh, at large to the pro community itself so that the community will own the process and they will invent local mechanisms which are local best so that they can be able to further sustain the program even if the program uh, researchers leave the area so that so that the sustainability of the behavior change can be repeated and emphasized re-emphasized so that there is a sustainable and a long-term uh, followers or adherence to the behavior change on the other hand the program does not address all social determinants of the health for example the program does not clearly discuss mental conditions of clients, their economic well-being, even if, for example, the program does not consider economic uh, training training individuals or their clients about opportunities uh, to be able to have more resources to be sustainable. And does not the program does not also consider political well-being uh, through civic education of this of their clients so that they can be able to ask their government to support them and to educate them further. The program also does not involve a long-term commitment. So the program is not very well keen about uh, following, the, following the intervention protocol for a longer time. So therefore, the intervention can be successful, but it might be prone to sabotage, sabotage in the future. So it might, it's, it might be compromised by new beliefs which will emerge later in the in the stages later at the end of the program maybe after the researchers leave new beliefs might come up which will compromise or manipulate uh, the whole goal of the intervention program who defines a community in the context of the social economic cultural and family setup i believe that uh, a community is defined from set standards rules and regulations that define the whole group in the population for example Individual dynamics considers interpersonal relations among peers and cohort. People who belong to a particular peer have certain agenda and certain rules that make them part of that group. And individuals make up a family and therefore relatives, relatives or relations. And therefore, individuals are more prone to accept what their peers or cohort tell them or what their families or relatives tell them. And therefore, this group is a setup which eventually form a whole society. A society has a system, full system, that's operative and has cultural beliefs, norms and practices. Community aspect in the condom use program particularly is as follows. The program approach is designed to establish structures of participation by communities affected by HIV AIDS in southern India. Uh, the program particularly considers a prevalence of uh, HIV AIDS among sex workers and their clients and how they are much more at risk 
and the prevalence of HIV is much more risk is much more very high among this population. The goal is to improve health and well-being of sex workers and their clients through a behavior change in use of condom. So the program overall is intending to increase consistent use of condom to protect this uh, vulnerable population from HIV infection. The sex workers as well as researchers are part of a team. Sex workers are not merely recipients, but they also contribute to the whole program. And because researchers share uh, they, what, they, what they know, and then sex workers also, on the other hand, also share about their environment, about their feelings, about what they know concerning the, the, the study uh, question. So particularly, th there is a core learning between sex workers who are the clients in, and they're because they are the ones who will implement in their own lives behavior changes. So the program planners, even though they are the one who uh, disseminate this information, sex workers also disseminate very critical information which might help to change the course of the program. Sex workers also provide information which might help broaden the perspective of the researchers. Programmers will consider sex workers as partners and not merely uh, the status of spectators. So sex workers are partners, are critical partners, partners who contribute to the program. So there is neutrality and there is a mutual respect for each other. All partners agree fully on the mission and outcome of the program. In the program care study, the clients reveal their beliefs of their community and whether or not they they believe certain things concerning condom or what was there before stereotypes of beliefs about condom use and therefore this reveals a situation of a mutual trust respect and commitment to follow a behavior goal intended for the program so the clients reveal for example some of them say that when they buy condoms People laugh at, laugh at them, or people see them as promiscuous, or people see them as not healthy, or certain beliefs around condom use, which makes individuals not properly affect uh, the behavior change goal within their lives, because people around them have a very diverse beliefs. So the program is intended to bring all these beliefs together and reduce and completely eradicate beliefs which are wrong and bring people's beliefs in one angle so that they have correct information about condom and not merely negative or wrong information. For example, the program considers groups in terms of low believers, high believers and mixed believers. High believers, for example, are those people who have very high beliefs which are diverse about condom use. And low believers are people who have just few, a few beliefs about condoms, which are my, which are not, which are not very damaging. And some people have mixed reaction about condoms. Some have a positive idea about condoms, and some have completely uh, misleading belief about condoms. Therefore, the program is is meant to bring. Uh, to bring the, uh, the mindset of all the people involved within the community so that they can be able to have one idea which is accurate and correct about condom use so that diverse ideas are limited or eradicated ideas which reduce uh, community members to parti fully participate uh, in behavior change goal in their lives. In this presentation, these are the references that I had used. At this point, I will take questions. Please feel free to ask me any question. If you have further questions, please send me an email. I'm very happy and thank you so much for listening to my presentation. I hope you learned something.